Hi, I'm Kevin, and in these next few minutes, I want to tell you about some changes that we're making in Mozilla's product team in the way we think about developers' needs. Now, people who are familiar with my work know that I've been involved with Mozilla's developer tools for the past couple of years, uh, and I'm currently the product manager for Mozilla's de developer tools effort. Now, browser-based developer tools are very important to web developers because they spend a lot of time making their application look right, work right, and these tools help them get there. But of course, that's not all developers need. They use libraries, they use other tools, they practically live in their editors and their IDEs. Uh, and if you're building a mobile application, you need your mobile platforms, that you need to be able to access those to work on your application. So these are important pieces because developers spend a large chunk of their time building their applications. They're developers, right? That's what they do. But you can't just start with an idea and then say, you know what, I'm going to go and develop this thing. If you've never developed before for the web platform, you need tutorials and courses that will help you learn how to get started and learn, learn to build those applications. And of course, learning doesn't end there. You need doc documentation, news, and information throughout the development cycle to help you get from one step to the next. Now, when starting an application, increasingly people don't just start from a blank slate. They'll start with a, uh, Twitter bootstrap or HTML5 boilerplate, uh, or maybe you'll start with a project wizard and an IDE. So these help you get started. And then once you've started your application, built your application, then you need to publish it somewhere. So for a website, that typically means you put it on a server so that it's accessible to the world. Uh, but we're also, um, through our apps initiative, we're providing another choice here, marketplaces. People don't necessarily have to deploy just to a server, they can deploy to a marketplace using web technologies and increasingly powerful access to mobile device APIs. That means you can build applications, uh, make them free or paid in a marketplace, and that gives you sort of the best of both the open web platform and the native platform stacks, which is great. Um, but it is, another, it is another point for developers to go to. And more services are coming online all the time to help developers with things like push notifications or storage, database storage. So all of this together, I call it the developer experience. And it's not about these particular boxes. These exact boxes and this arrangement of boxes is not what's important. The main thing, the main point I'm trying to make is that there's a lot more than tools. There's a lot of things that go on to making uh, the developer experience work well for people. And the web is already in a great spot because in the web we have the blessing of choice, meaning there are just any possible thing a web developer might need, there are, there's usually many choices for it. Uh, and that helps. That means that you're not lost looking for something. On the other hand, there are so many choices that you get into the paradox of choice where you say, where you get stuck and you think, how do I get from step A to step B? How do I get from idea to published app? Now, if you're a native platform vendor, it's no problem. You're controlling the whole stack. So you can just say, this is how you go from your idea, step, 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 to the published application. So now for certain web vendors, you can also do that because they have their own tool chains that they're selling. And you know that's, that is their product. And so they will give you that step-by-step -step path. But what the web kind of needs is an unbiased, up-to-date, step-by-step -step path to go from idea to finished app. Something that uh, solves the paradox of choice problem while still preserving the ability to choose, still keeping you from having lock-in. And Mozilla, as a nonprofit organization, uh, we have the mission to protect openness and innovation on the web. That is what we're here for. We want to make the web better for everybody. And that means that we, can, we are in a position where we can provide a quick path from idea to published application without requiring lock-in. Uh, and that is a, a big difference that's important to developers. So my intention here is not that the Mozilla community is going to build everything in this picture. Rather, our goal is to bring it together, look for the gaps to make sure that the web development experience is actually the best development experience of any platform. And one last point I want to make is that it's all web. Pretty much everything Mozilla touches is built on some form of web technology. For example, the JavaScript debugger that we're building right now, it works on desktop for building web applications but it could also be made to work against add-ons for Firefox. Uh, it, it's already been demonstrated working against B2G, and it could be connected remotely to Firefox on Android. So anything that we do, any investment we make that leverages the web platform, that builds on the web platform, is going to help pretty much everything Mozilla touches, uh, and that's a good spot to be in. So Daniel Buckner and I are looking for ideas, people, and partners that can help us make the open web development experience better for everybody. So get in touch if you think you can help. Thanks.